I mean, um, there is it, like climbing solo and sharing these adventures uh, of solo climbing was always the hardest part for me because uh, first of all, if you go on a solo climb, you're coming home, then your your family, your friends, your close friends, your girlfriend, they are not congratulating you. Uh, they are more like, okay, we are happy that you are safe back. And so for me, coming home, sharing these stories was always the hardest part somehow. And um, I think nowadays it, it changed a little bit because um, yeah, I'm, I'm much more used to, to to share stories and adventures from myself to, to a bigger audience than I was like 10 years ago. Uh, so now it feels like easier, but it's always kind of, um, yeah, path, you know, where you between black and white, because um, I think what's really important to know is that first of all, you go out solo climbing for your own experience, for your own adventures. And then the second thing is, it's only the second thing if you share and how you share the things. I think what's really important before going on an expedition or on a solo climb is that you anyway need to know that you are in a good shape. So you need to have this certain level of, of, of physical strength, more or less. And then what's for me always important to listen to myself if I have the right mindset to do it, you know. So going on, a, on something in solo, alone or in high altitude is the key is always to have a really good mind to be able to, to do it, you know, because the, the physical thing you anyway needs to be here. And uh, this is something what I think it's hard to train, it's something, it's, it's more like a gift you get. And then the second thing is also that it's always a question about finding the right moment. So for me, like very huge highlights of a climbing career. They, these moments, they occur only a few times in your life, you know. And then it's really important to know if it's the right moment or not. And somehow, you know, I'm gifted with this ability. And it was always when I did the solo climbs, it was always the same. I, somehow I felt that it's the right moment to do it. And if I don't feel that, I don't do it. And if you see my, in my career, like all my solo climbs, in between the solo climbs, there are always different Different, a different time of no solo climbing. So it's not every year, so it's sometimes it's four years of no big solo or two years. So this is for me a sign that I'm playing the game really honest and honest to myself also.